Hey guys, it's Emily. And Kevin. Hello. <laughs> and we are here in San Francisco using, well, I think ending our very first shoot with the Matterport Pro 3. So we took it for a major spin today, tackling not one, but two full floors in a commercial real estate building. So what do you think, Kevin? It definitely, for the eighth floor that we did in this building, it was completely empty. And you could really see the difference with this and the Pro 2 by how many big steps you could take with it, how big of an area it scanned. And I think it really helped us out with being able to do that in many hours less than it would have taken with the Pro 2. Yeah. And now this floor is a little bit different because there's more furniture, so you do need to take stops for navigation and things, but it was just still so much quicker to be able to jump to the next scan and the next scan. So it, it felt like it felt like going back to the Pro 2 is going to be like snail speed. Okay, but we also have to fill in the detail of Kevin came here yesterday and was dealing with sunlight. He was dealing with a large open space that was in shell condition and had very little differenti differentiating features in it. And so we kind of tapped out on that space. And the I think we could maybe even show like a little bit of the... Uh, you know, of this iPad mm -hmm. and show the difference of how densely we had to scan with the Pro 2. And keep in mind that it is scanning about half speed, like it scans twice as fast with this. Um, so not only is it twice as fast, it's a, like a third of the scan number of scans. Mm -hmm. And you can just see the density um, decrease in how closely we had to place those scans together. So in terms of the time savings, uh, like, um, an absolute magnitude, order of magnitude difference that is hard to describe until you've done it. But you're, yeah, I'm with you, Kevin. Like going backwards now feels like I don't want to take more time to do this it, than I need to. Yeah, I mean, it ultimately it's more than just the amount of time. It's how many errors that you run into, especially with a big open space. It seems like it fixes a lot of problems. And then it also opens up being able to do outdoor environments, yeah. which I think is really a game changer and kind of cool, especially yeah. if there's like architecture or something that's different and unique about the backyard design. Yeah, sometimes so. the outdoor spaces is actually more interesting and a bigger selling point than the interior. Uh, let's talk about those alignment issues though, because my very last rooms were these conference rooms where I had a glass door and I placed the scan on the outside of the room and I, and I was actually right on top of a previous scan, like scan 25, and I was at scan 149 or something. And then it wouldn't align the next scan and I just couldn't figure it out. And I think that you had the same error where moving in between rooms was challenging. So I placed a mirror marking on a TV, but I was having issues that I would not have anticipated with the Pro 2. Do you have a reason why you think that was happening in your cases? I'm not sure why it was having issues when it was going through the doorways, I would get an error. Um, I feel like it wouldn't have happened with the Pro 2 and the scan points are pretty close together. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a problem they're gonna solve with the Pro 4. Uh, I don't know <laughs> right. when it's coming, but, but I feel like, you know, that's the only sort of limitation that I saw from it. So if you think of like a whole row of pluses and minuses, it, it was like, I don't know, like eight pluses and maybe one minus. So when did we start? Let's do timing. So we just wrapped at three o'clock and uh, or let, like, we wrapped at say 2.45. You started on this floor at what time? We got down here like right around, I wanna say noon. Like, right. yeah. Okay, so I think this is 19,000 square feet and we scanned 19,000 square feet. We didn't do all of the core of the building, but we finished 19,000 square feet in what I would say if you were even more proficient and you were, we were chatting. There were oh, three yeah, we of took, us hanging out. It took like a good 20 minute talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I would say maybe two and a half, you could do it in between two and two and a half hours. So we're getting up there with like eye guide speed. I mean, that's like it, it, super fast. I, I definitely feel it could have been even quicker. I mean, we ran into a couple of things where people you know, walk in and you have to cancel out the scan mm -hmm. and that's also quicker. So all these little things that are the errors, the problems with the Pro 2 are made exponentially faster with the Pro 3. And it just seems like a game changer 
but there's the financial aspect too. And the battery life. So ba battery can life. You, yeah. Can you? I don't know if like, I can turn this around. Yeah. But here, I think that we want to show folks that at about 20% battery life, I started getting this error here, this error message, and I I was getting like four to five scans per percentage point of the battery. So uh, let's just say. That's you know four times a hundred, so four hundred scans maybe. Is that is that? I think I'm doing the math right. Like four hundred scans in a charge on a four hour battery. So if you have a space that you can get to in under four hundred scans, which this was, I mean, how many scans did we end up doing for this space? One hundred and fifty four. So maybe it's less than that, but it was but definitely that, like that would be double the number with the Pro Two. Oh, right? the Pro Two would have been three hundred scans for this space yeah. without question, and we would have been pushing up on the other thing we would have been pushing up against would be RAM because um, even though this is an iPad with like you know like this was like an iPad lidar top twenty twenty top of the line like I didn't get a new iPad yet to do um, to work with this, but I could imagine that having like that extra RAM might help you, but because there's fewer scans loading. Maybe there's more data, but fewer scans. Jury's out on that. We have to still kind of get into the nitty gritty and we're gonna process the scan tonight and then we're gonna check it out tomorrow and mm -hmm. then we're gonna reconvene and see what we think. Hey everybody, here we are inside the model. It has now processed and we can take a look at it together. Uh, as you can see, we still have a bit of density in these scans around the core of the building, but as we go further out, these are those Pro 3 scans that we were able to uh, take bigger jumps with. Absolutely no problem. And if you can see, you've got awesome uh, visibility out the window. So that looks really good. If we back up, that's another Pro 3 scan. That's a Pro 2 scan. And I wouldn't say that there is a hugely noticeable difference in the fidelity. Uh, maybe maybe from there to there, there's a bit of fidelity difference. We'll have to download the images to be certain, but it looks to me like certainly we saved a ton of time and the model looks really good. So if you wanna take a peek at the dollhouse, uh, here was the dollhouse scanned with that Pro 3 and the Pro 2. And uh, if we go and look over here at the, I think we want to look at it in this view. And then you can make zoom in a little bit. Uh, then you can see that we really had that density uh, around the core of the building. And as soon as we shifted to the Pro 3, uh, we were really able to spread those scans out. So we saved ourselves a ton of time. The model looks good and uh, we should probably go in and hide or at least minimize some of these scans around the core of the building. But uh, being able to space it out much further really saved us a tremendous amount of time. Now there is one huge drawback to the Pro 3 that we didn't discuss, but I wanna mention it now. And that is that if you are on a classic plan, you are not going to be able to upload to the classic plan. So as long as you have a new plan, or I would say what is now the standard plan, then you are fine. It doesn't affect you. But if you have clients who have classic plans and they have had those for a long time, they're going to need to get a new account and that is going to mess with your margins and your business model. So make sure you do the math and see if it makes sense for you, but from our perspective, other than that financial uh, strain, if you're going to be having a, uh, you know, a, a ton of scans coming in that you're going to have to host and not your clients, just make sure that you are charging for that hosting. And also, you know what else I'm noticing is that because I'm close to this window, I feel like if I were close to something like this with the Pro 2, I would have had more warping. We still have a stitch line here, but I would have had a little bit more warping. So I think that that infrared really is uh, improved upon with the LiDAR and that the data itself, let's just take a look. We'll go into the mesh view. The data itself looks pretty clean. So obviously the more data we get, the cleaner this whole thing's gonna look, but I think that it's pretty good overall and I am happy with it. And 
This is the reason that actually I did pull the trigger. We bought a Pro 3, uh, and that was because we needed to scan large commercial spaces. So if you, and I think that the mesh looks really good. If we go back this way, we can see that where we had scanned with the Pro 2, it's not a noticeable difference. So I think that the mesh itself um, is definitely, uh, you know, it's definitely reduced in polygons uh, for maybe this view, for the mesh view, but anyway, uh, Pro 3 versus Pro 2 is a game changer if you need to do large commercial scans. So for all the AEC folks out there, the folks working in the architecture, engineering, and construction fields, this is gonna be a game changer for you. All right, let's, let's wrap it up. Like, subscribe, do all those wonderful things so that we can stay in touch and keep you on the cutting edge. All right, guys, till soon.